John 4. John 4. Amen. And while Jonathan leaving, you know, we've been, we've been praying. What name that church, John? Pine Grove. Pine who? Grove. Grove. We're going to pray that Jonathan lose map to Pine Grove.
she finished praying, after she get through singing, she want to feel something. She said, but I don't feel nothing. And I asked her, I said, have you submitted everything to God? And she said, well, no, 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 not everything. I said, now, you're going to have to surrender everything to God. She said, well, I, I got this fellow in my life, and I, I believe that he's the fellow for me. I said, I didn't tell you to give him up. I, I said, you have to surrender to God. And I said, if he's not a part of God's plan, mm -hmm. amen. She said, oh, okay, I, I think I got it. I talked there for about 15, 20 minutes. And, and, uh, but I thought about it thereafter. And then uh, on yesterday, I met an ex-pimp. <laughs> Amen. He was he said, and it had and he had his hat tilted like he was a ex something. <laughs> but he, I mean, and he said he was on drugs. And, 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 and he said that he never did care about a woman. Amen. Uh, until a few years ago. Uh, because his mama gave him away. And he had that thing down inside of him that that, that he couldn't love a woman because he felt like women were a threat to him because his mama gave him away. All right. I'm going somewhere, y'all. I'm not just talking. <laughs> Amen. And he said, he said, but, but when, when God saved me, he said, I realized that I had to love somebody other than myself. Amen. Yeah. But he kept talking, and I was talking, and, 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 and he reminded me of something I said on last Sunday, because he, he was sitting in my car, too. And I started talking, and I started telling him about what God had done in my life. And I told him, I don't brag about what I've done. I don't give Satan any credit about me smoking dope and drinking whiskey. I, I, don't, I don't give Satan any credit, but God always allowed me to say what I say when, when it's gone.
They're scared to come to church because people made them believe. They got to change something to come. Amen. Amen. You got to look a certain way to, to come. All right. You got to do a certain thing just to come. And pastors have to deal with folk in the pulpit because they didn't look the way he thought. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. But the Bible said God is, is seeking truth. He, he, he's seeking realness. He's seeking people that will just come to God and pray. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, I don't know how to pray. Lord, I don't know how to do it like nobody else. Lord, I don't know how to dress like nobody else. I don't know how to talk to him. I'm not able to put it in my feet. But, Lord, here I am. If you would just accept me just for what I am, God said, I'm pursuing real folk. Yes, Lord. Do it now.
And so at midnight, they cried to them saying, but Jesus said, I want to give you an antidote for your problem. All right. Yeah, that's that what he said. That's what he said. Didn't he? And then this is what he said to her. He said this. He said, honey, he said, he said, where is your husband? He said, she said, I don't have a husband. Uh -huh. He said, you said that correctly. And I know something went off in her head. Yeah. She said, how do we know that? She said, he said, you had five husbands. Worship on this mountain. It's not the place. 
It's not the place that you worship in. It's the person that you worship. Amen. I told the Bible class, I told the Bible class too tonight that we have to be connected to Christ. And that's what God is looking for. He's looking for folk that will connect with him, that will connect to him. Know where you're going. The Bible says, they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. I got to get in the spirit with him. I can't keep singing the same old song. I can't keep praying the same old prayer. I can't keep sitting in the same old seat thinking that God's going to show up just at this seat. We're moving in a new age now. God is chasing us now. He's chasing us. We got, we got young children now that, that don't want to come to church because we can't give them a valuable reason. On who God really is. Yes. We can't show them the God that's in our lives. And so now we come up with all this other stuff. And... Amen. You, you wonder why. You wonder why so many people now is coming out of the closet. And, and so many people is showing themselves now. They're being real about who they are. And the only thing we got is to talk about what they say. Let's give them another reason. <laughs> let's, let's get it real. You got, you got a 15 year old girl, 16 year old boy, 15 year old boy. They don't know which way to go. Yeah. And I'm not talking about whether they're going to be a girl or a boy or whatever. I'm talking about. They need to know God. If God is pursuing your life, then you show how to let God pursue them. It's not about how they act. It's not about how you, it's about how you connect with God. Yeah. They always see the Lord. genuine difference in you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My prayer is that when I talk to people in the daytime, at night, if I'm on the phone, if I'm in your person, I want them to see God. Yeah. I want them to hear God. I want them to hear God's voice. But if I don't understand that God is pursuing me, I never let him connect with me. And there's so many people there's so many people. I've heard women say, I don't chase a man. 